Athletes, welcome back to Free to Play. In this video, we're gonna jump around. We're gonna do two matrix plays. The first matrix play is what we call jump in sync. And the second matrix play is what we call jump out of sync. And we'll make sense of that when you go through the matrix plays. What's also gonna make sense as you go through the matrix plays is understanding how when we jump, whether in sync or out of sync, in all three planes of motion, the reaction that takes place at our feet, at our hips, throughout the rest of our body. And understanding that is part of movement literacy. What's also a part of movement literacy is understanding that you're building upon your abilities because as you know of squatting in all three planes of motion, it's now turning into jumping as you continue through that movement literacy process. In this playout, Coach Gary is going to continue to build upon that literacy with your successes by teaching you different ways in which you can jump to show the various abilities that you're capable of accomplishing. I know you're gonna have fun with it. And so without further ado, if you're not standing just yet, I invite you to do so as we together move in this free to play video. Jumping by definition is leaving the ground from both feet and landing on both feet. Sometimes our feet go together and other times they may not go together. But in this matrix play, they're gonna go together. We're gonna do jump in sync. So as we get going, let's just start nice and easy and just with me, just jump up and down, just nice and easy and get a feel for that. And go ahead and stop. And your body says, nah, that's kind of fun, but it gets boring real quick. So why not jump in all three planes of motion? Jump forward and back, jump side to side, and rotate. And that's what we'll do together. So as we start in the sagittal plane, let's just go ahead and do a few times, jump forward and backward, forward, backward, forward, backward. And that, of course, is jumping in sync in the sagittal plane. We can also jump in sync in the frontal plane by jumping side to side. So with me now, let's do that a few times. Go one way, and then go the other way, side to side, side to side, and then stop. And then of course we have one more plane of motion to jump in, and that's the transverse plane where we're really gonna start to rotate. So we're gonna have our feet point one direction and then jump and allow them to point the other direction and do that a few times. So let's do that together now. So point one direction, rotate the other. Do a few more times and stop. And we covered our bases by going forward, back, side to side and rotate in all three planes of motion. Let's go through the same sequence again but this next time through, let's just try to go a pinch higher. We're still gonna jump in all three planes, but let's just try to go a little bit higher, a few reps each. So in the sagittal plane, here we go, forward and back, just a little bit higher, do it a few times. All right, now we're gonna go side to side in the frontal plane, just a little bit higher. One way, the other way. Do it a couple more times and stop. And now in the transverse plane, point in one direction, point at the other direction, just try to go a little pinch higher, here we go. Rotate, 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 and stop. And now our body's saying, hey, I feel pretty good. The whole body's joining this party of jumping, so let's challenge ourselves one more time. Instead of going real high, let's just try to go a pinch further while we still defy gravity as we jump together. So just a pinch further this time. Sagittal plane, here we go. Forward and backwards, just a little bit further. All right. Side to side in the frontal plane, a little bit further. One way, other way. One way, the other way. Now in the transverse plane, try to rotate just a little bit further. Rotate one direction, the other. Keep going, keep going, and stop. And what was fun is that while we're defying gravity together, our feet were always moving in sync with each other. Our bodies are neat. In fact, our feet are neat. And what makes our feet neat is how they can benefit and influence the rest of the body by how they move. Our feet move forward and backward in the sagittal plane. They move side to side in the frontal plane and they rotate in the transverse plane. 
And when they move in all three planes of motion, the rest of the body benefits and gets influenced, especially the hips. Feel how your feet benefit and influence your hips, as well as the rest of the body, as we go through this jump in sync matrix together one last time. So let's jump first together in the sagittal plane. Let's go forward and backward, forward and backward, forward and backward. And now let's move to the frontal plane and go side to side and side to side and side to side. And then move in the transverse plane, rotate one way, the other way, one way, the other way, one way, the other way. And just by our feet moving again, forward and backward, side to side. And by rotating, our hips are also moving in all three planes as well as the rest of our body. Isn't it neat how our feet influence our bodies? Jump. Sagittal plane jump in sync. Frontal plane jump in sync. Transverse plane jump in sync. It's fun to not only jump in sync in all three planes of motion, but it can also be fun to learn how to say that using sign language. So together, let's learn how to say jump, but also sagittal plane jump in sync, frontal plane jump in sync, and transverse plane jump in sync. To say jump, you're going to put your two fingers and forehead and point them down, and as they're extending down over and over and over, your arms are bouncing with them to signify the word jump. So let's do that together. And that says jump. When we do the same jumping motion, but we move our arms forward and backward, that's how we say sagittal plane jump in sync. So let's do that together. And that says sagittal plane jump in sync. Now with the same jumping motion, when we move our arms side to side, that says frontal plane jump in sync. Let's do that one together. Just bounce them side to side. And then in the transverse plane, we'll do the same thing, but as our fingers are extending and our arms are jumping, we're gonna rotate our arms right and left together to say transverse plane jump in sync. So let's put that one together. And so when we put them all together, we can not only remind ourselves of how we can jump in all three planes with our feet going together, but as free-to-play athletes, we can communicate with one another without using words on how we can challenge our bodies. Jump, by definition, is leaving the ground from two feet and landing on the ground in two feet. Sometimes our feet go together or in sync. Other times they go not together or out of sync or even opposite. We're gonna have fun with the out of sync jumps in this matrix by jumping out of sync in all three planes. So in the sagittal plane, one foot's gonna be in front of the other and we'll jump to go ahead and allow the feet to go opposite and repeat that. In the frontal plane, we're gonna go from a wide stance and jump out of sync to a narrow and continue to do that. And in the transverse plane, our feet are gonna be pointing in and we're gonna jump and allow them to point out as they all jump out of sync. So let's begin in the sagittal plane. I'm gonna put my left foot in front of my right. You put your right foot in front of your left and we're gonna jump out of sync in a sagittal plane. So let's just do it a few times together, get a nice feel for it and then go ahead and stop. We'll do the same thing in the frontal plane side to side. So start wide and we'll jump narrow and go wide, narrow, and do this a few times together and stop. And now we'll do in the transverse plane. Let's begin by pointing our toes in. And now when we jump together, we're gonna to point them out, in, out, in, and do this a few more times. Now this next time we go through it, let's try to emphasize just going a pinch higher. We're still gonna jump, we're still gonna jump in all three planes and we're still gonna jump out of sync, but let's just try to go a little bit higher. So your right foot's in front of your left, we'll jump and allow your left foot to be in front of your right and keep that going, just try to go a little bit higher. All right, stop. Same thing in the frontal plane, a little bit higher. Start wide, jump narrow and go a little wider. Narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow. Little pinch higher in the transverse plane now. 
Let's start by pointing our toes in, point them out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Now this last time through, let's just try to go a tad bit further and where we take our feet out of sync in all three planes of motion. So again, put your right foot in front of your left, out of sync jumps in the sagittal plane, a pinch further. With me now, here we go, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. And now in the frontal plane, let's start wide, maybe a little bit pinch wider. Let's try to go narrow, wide, narrow, wide. Excellent job. And then last but not least, the transverse plane. Let's just try to rotate just a pinch further. So point them in a little bit more. And now with me, point them out. In, out, in, out, in, out. And it's a fun variation of jumping because sometimes our feet want to go together. Other times, they might want to go opposite. Hey athletes, did you know that the hips are powerful? In fact, the hips give the rest of the body power as well. Our hips move in three planes of motion. In fact, they bend forward and backward. They move side to side and they rotate in and out. And by doing that, the hips can benefit and influence the rest of the body, segments above it and the segments below it. As we go through the jumps out of sync one more time, feel how we are jumping and allowing our feet to move out of sync, how that makes the hips that much more powerful, but how the hips can talk to the feet and how the hips can talk to everything above. Let's feel how powerful our hips are. So with the jumps out of sync, my left foot's in front of my right, your right foot's in front of your left, and we're gonna jump out of sync together in the sagittal plane. A few more times, all right, and stop. And now we're gonna go ahead and position our feet wide in the frontal plane and jump out of sync so they go narrow together, and let's do that. So in and out, in and out, that's the way. Part together, part together. And now in the transverse plane, let's start by pointing our feet in, and we'll jump and allow them to point out as we do transverse plane jumps out of sync together. And by doing those jumps out of sync, you can see and feel how your hips were able to do this, your hips were able to do this, and your hips were able to do this, creating powerful hips and thus creating a more powerful body. Jump, sagittal plane jump out of sync, frontal plane jump out of sync, transverse plane jump out of sync. What's cool is that our bodies can jump, but they also have the ability to jump in sync and out of sync. What's also cool is we can show each other how we ourselves want to jump or how we may challenge you on how to jump with how we use our hands in sign language. So if I wanted to challenge myself or challenge you to jump, I could do this with sign language, and that says jump. So do that with me. You're gonna put two fingers down on each hand, and as you bend and extend your fingers, you're gonna hop your arms up and down, and that says jump. If we wanted to say sagittal plane jump out of sync, we do that same jumping motion with our fingers, but we allow our arms to alternate forward and backward to say sagittal plane jump out of sync. Let's do that together. And to say frontal plane jump out of sync, we want to do the same jumping motion, but allow our hands to go to apart together, apart together to say frontal plane jump out of sync. Let's do that together. And to say transverse plane jump out of sync, while we jump, we're gonna rotate our hands in and then we're gonna jump our fingers and rotate out and continue that to say transverse plane jump out of sync. So let's do that together. So whether we wanna challenge ourselves to say, well, how do I wanna jump today? Or how we may wanna challenge each other as fellow athletes on how I say, you go ahead and jump this way. We can do it with our words, but what makes it even more cool and fun is when we can do it using sign language. 
free-to-play athletes, you're flat out doing amazing. This jump matrix, if we're going to put a few of the jumps together, just going to bring a smile to our faces. You'll definitely see a smile on my face. It's just something about going up and down and going in different directions that brings a big smile to our body and a big smile to our face. What we're going to do is we're going to jump, but we're going to jump kind of in a different way. And as you know, in jumping, I can jump higher, I can jump out further, and I can jump faster. Right now, I don't want to go very high, and I don't want to go very far, and just kind of a nice, easy pace. So let's review, first of all, our in-sync jumps. Let's review our sagittal plane, where we just kind of go forward and back. Great job. Now we're going to go side to side. Great job. And now we're going to rotate. Great job. So we did our sagittal plane. Do that again with me. Our frontal plane and our transverse plane. Wonderful work. So from that, I'm going to teach you what we call a jump matrix. Say, so go, wait a minute. I've been doing a lot of jump matrices. Yeah, this is kind of a special one, though. So if you don't mind, I'm going to turn away from you and teach us this because when we get it going, Somebody came and walked in our room right now and looked around. They go, whoa, these free-to-play athletes are incredible. They're jumping all together, and it really kind of makes sense, and it really looks cool because we're jumping in all different directions. So the first thing we're going to do is establish where home is. Now, the important thing about this is just look around the space on you. Make sure it's safe. Make sure there's not a, another chair around or a book on the floor or something because you just need a little bit of space, but make sure it's nice and clear. What we're going to do is we're going to simply jump forward, but then come back to what we call our home. Right after you do that, then you're going to jump backwards and then come back home. Now, you athletes already know where I'm going. You're saying, well, wait a minute, that was a sagittal plane. I bet now we get to do the matrix in the frontal plane. You are correct. We're going to jump to the right, come back home. Then we're going to jump to the left, and then we're going to come back home. Yeah, you got it. Our favorite one. Twist and shout. We're going to do the rotation now. So we're going to rotate to the right, come back home. We're going to rotate to the left and come back home. Now, we're going to piece that together and go just kind of put a flow together on that one. So just follow me. You ready? Here we go. My back's to you, but I'm going to go that way first, then back to the right, to the left. Rotate right, then rotate left. Let's try that one together. Ready? Let's go forward, home, back, home right home, left home, rotate right home, and rotate left home. Great job. One more time, just a little quicker. I like this one. Here we go. We're going to get ready. Here we go. Forward, home, back, home, right, home, left, home, rotate right home, rotate left home. Oh, awesome job. That's what we'll call jump matrix. We're going forward and back, right and left, rotate right, rotate left. We got it all covered. Now, Let's review quickly your out of sync jumps. You go, I got this. So sagittal plane, we go here, out of sync. Frontal plane looks a lot like that traditional jumping jack foot thingamabobber. And then transverse plane, toe in, toe out, toe in, toe out. Now, here's a little different type of matrix. This is called a locomotor matrix, which means we're going to go somewhere. So, but again, kind of look around, make sure everything's safe. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our sagittal plane out of sync, and we're going to go forward. We're going to come back home and go back a little bit, and then we're going to go a little bit right, a little bit left, and then we're going to rotate right and rotate left. You'll love this one. This one, for some reason, makes me giggle. I think it's going to make you giggle too. So let's first of all get our out of sync jumping jacks going in the sagittal plane, and then with me, go a little bit forward, and then go a little bit back. Good work. Let's go a little bit to the right. Let's go a little bit to the left. Let's rotate to the right, and let's rotate to the left. Now, if you're like me, you go, wait a minute, I'm not sure if I did that perfect. You're not supposed to do it perfect. You're just supposed to giggle and have fun. You notice my feet kind of got out of whack there a little bit, but that's part of the fun. Let me try it again. Let's see if we can do that one again. Sagittal plane. So let's get the sagittal plane going out of sync. A little bit forward, a little bit back. We're going a little bit right. We're going to go a little bit left. Now we're going to rotate a little bit right. And we're going to rotate a little bit left. Okay. I don't know about you, but that second time I did a little better. And that's kind of the miracle of our bodies. If we give it a chance, it's going to catch up and it's going to do things better. Now, we're going to do the same thing, but 
we're going to do our frontal plane out of sync. And you go, I got this. You don't even have to show me this one. I already know we're going to go forward and back, right and left, and rotate right, rotate left, while I'm making my feet go like that. You got it. Here we go. Let's get our feet going first. Let's go forward. Let's go back nice and easy. Let's go to the right. That's kind of a funny feeling one. Let's go to the left. Let's rotate right a little bit. Woo -hoo. And let's rotate left. Oh, I like that one a lot. Let's try that one more, a little quicker. Ready? Get me out of breath, I like this. Here we go, get it going. Forward, let's go back. Let's go right a little bit. Let's go left a little bit. Let's be in and out, in and out, boom. In and out, in and out to the left. Oh, we got it, good work. You athletes, way ahead of me going. We're gonna do one hard now, yep. It's just a little tougher. You'll see I'll struggle with this one, but that's the whole idea. Do things that I can do, but that I can improve upon. So we're gonna toe in, toe out, toe in, toe out, but we're gonna go in our different directions. Okay, hang on on this one. Here we go. Let's get this one going first. In and out, in and out. I'm going forward. I'm going back. <laughs> Tough one. In and out, in and out, I'm going to the right. I'm going to the left. Now the rotation one's really gonna get your brain going. In and out, in and out. Watch this one, in and out, in and out. Whoa, not bad. I can already tell you did a real good job on that one. Let's finish with that one, because that one kind of <gasps> gets my breath going. Plus, it just makes me smile again, because it's like, hey, I didn't know I could do this. I knew you guys could do it, because you've been working on this, and you've been progressing towards this. So here we go, ready? In and out, in and out. Here we go, forward. Let's go back. Let's go to the right. Let's go to the left. <laughs> Notice my hands want to do something too. Let's rotate to the right and let's rotate to the left. You got it. Unbelievable job. Boy, you can tell that, you know what? I feel like I can go out and do just about anything and move in any direction and be successful at it. Yes, you can. You can take advantage of that and really empower your bodies to do just about anything that you want to do. Really, really, really impressed with you free-to-play athletes. Welcome back, athletes, to free-to-play. Oh, you're going to have so much fun in this video because you're going to do jumping jacks, but maybe not the jumping jacks specifically as you've already been taught, but a variation of jumping jacks. In fact, in the two matrix plays, you're gonna do your jumps in sync. And in the first matrix play, you're gonna swing your arms in the sagittal plane in sync. And in the second matrix play, you're gonna swing your arms out of sync in the sagittal plane. And you're gonna be thinking, well, can I do that in the frontal plane, in the transverse plane, and do different types of jumps? Oh, yes because all these variations make it fun, make it functional, but it's going to enhance our coordination. In the play out, your coordination is gonna to continue to be enhanced because Coach Gary is gonna come back and lead that play out. And my guess is he's gonna probably get you giggling a little bit because of the various movements that you're gonna be able to successfully accomplish as long as we just try together. So if you're not standing just yet, I invite you to stand as we move together in this free to play video. But let me also add what I hope you hear throughout this video is well done. And I am proud of you. Free to play is proud of you. Keep up the awesome work and know how awesome you are. Together, we are about to do a form of a jumping jack. We're going to do jumps in sync with both hand sagittal plane swings in sync. This will surely coordinate our body's abilities. So to get started, let's forget about the swings and start with the jumps. We're going to do jumps in sync. So that means our feet are going to be moving in all three planes together. So mirror me as we do this to kind of get our bodies warmed up. So in the sagittal plane, let's just start jumping forward and back, forward and back, and just get a nice little pace going. And now let's just go ahead and go side to side, jumping in sync in the frontal plane, and then go ahead and just rotate your hips and your feet as you rotate with your feet in sync in the transverse plane. 
and go ahead and stop. Now we had a little bit more fun to this process because we're going to say hands, you're going to be swinging, or arms, you're going to be swinging as we jump to do a form of jumping jack. So your arms are always going to swing forward and backward together in the sagittal plane as we go through our jumps in sync in all three planes of motion. So let's get a feel for it. Let's get our feet going forward and back in the sagittal plane and then get your arms swinging in the sagittal plane together. Just do that a few more times. Now keep your arms swinging, but have your feet go side to side in the frontal plane, but your arms are still swinging in the sagittal plane. And now go ahead and rotate your feet in the transverse plane, but keep those arms swinging in the sagittal plane. And stop. Awesome job so far. We're going to go through it one more time, and what I want to do is tweak the movement a little bit. I will ask you to speed up or slow down, and you just allow your body to react. So let's get our feet going in the sagittal plane again, in sync. Get our arms going just nice and easy. Now go a little bit faster, a little bit faster. Now slow down a little bit. Now go side to side with your feet, and now try to go a little bit faster, and now slow down a little bit. Now get your feet rotating in the transverse plane, and now pick up the speed a little bit, and now slow it down a little bit, and stop. And we just did a wonderful form of a jumping jack to coordinate our body's abilities by doing jumps in sync in all three planes of motion with our arms swinging just in the sagittal plane in sync. What is coordination? Coordination is the many parts of our bodies moving together, playing well with each other in order to get something done. In free to play, we are constantly building upon our coordination by going through movement literacy. We do things that are rather easy for our bodies to do, and we continue to build upon those things and progress forward. If we started down here and did something hard without building upon our coordination, it would be hard. But since we are building upon our successes, we are building upon our coordination, what may seem hard at first glance can be easy. For example, we jump, and we jump in all three planes of motion. We also swing our arms in all three planes of motion. But we can also say, let's do that together and do some jumping jacks where these parts and these parts are moving well together. That's coordination. As we continue to build upon our coordination, we can see that our feet have a lot to do with it, our hands have a lot to do with it. And we can see that when we may be skipping, or when we might be throwing a ball, or maybe when we're kicking something, that our parts of our bodies need to play well with each other. And movement literacy allows our coordination to constantly be enhanced. Well done. As free-to-play athletes, we are doing movements and exercises and activities. And many times we're doing those movements, exercises, activities with other athletes. As a sign of respect and honor, we might want to tell them, well done with their effort. So to learn how to say this in sign language, let's learn together. To say well, you'll take your one hand and touch your chin and then take that hand into the palm of your other hand. Again, that says well. To say done, you'll face both palms at you, and as I push away, I'm going to flip my hand so my palms are now facing you as if I was done with something. So let's put that together right now. Well done. And as a way to end these matrix plays, I want to look at you and just honor you and respect you by looking at you and saying... Athletes, we get to do a form of jumping jacks together. We're going to do jumps in sync in all three planes of motion, 
but we're going to couple the jumps with both arms swinging in the sagittal plane out of sync so that our arms are actually going opposite one another in the sagittal plane. This will surely improve our body's abilities. So let's kind of build upwards in this matrix and start low with our jumps. We're gonna do this together, so as soon as you see me start jumping, you start jumping and mirror me as we jump together. We'll start by jumping in the sagittal plane. Our feet are in sync, so they're going forward and backwards together. So as we do this together, we're immediately gonna change and go side to side in the frontal plane, so now our feet are going right and left and right and left. And now go ahead and switch to the transverse plane and allow your feet to rotate right and left together as they go in sync. And stop. I said we're gonna build up. So now, since we got the bottom part covered, we're still gonna do that bottom part, but we're gonna ask our hands to do sagittal plane or ask our arms to do sagittal plane swings out of sync. So let's start with our hands going out of sync. And as we get comfortable with that, let's start jumping in sync in the sagittal plane. So jump with me together. Hands are going out of sync in the sagittal plane. Keep the arms going, but now have the feet go side to side in the frontal plane. Keep those arms going. And now allow your feet to rotate in the transverse plane as your arms are still swinging in the sagittal plane out of sync and stop. We're gonna go through that one more time because I'm feeling a little bit better at it. I'm sure you're feeling a little bit better at it. So let's go ahead and tweak it a little bit. How I'm gonna tweak it is I'm gonna ask you to go faster or perhaps even slower as we do this. So let's get the arms going in the sagittal plane, out of sync swings, and get the feet going together in sync in the sagittal plane. Pick up the pace, go faster, faster. Now slow it down a little bit, now go real slow. Now keep the arms going, but get your feet going side to side in the frontal plane, and pick up the pace. Go a little bit faster, a little bit faster. Now slow it down a little bit, and switch your feet to the transverse plane, arms are still swinging the sagittal, and go faster, go faster, go faster, and stop. Awesome, awesome job. I hope you're giggling like I am, because that just seems like it's fun. Doing jumps in all three planes of motion with our feet in sync and adding that to our arm swinging in the sagittal plane out of sync really feels like it improves our body's abilities. Matrix plays, matrix play outs. Matrix, matrix, matrix. What in the world is a matrix? A matrix is a nice way to build upon our coordination. Well, how do we do that? We take something that may be simple, such as a jump, but we say a matrix means we need to jump in all three planes of motion. So that's why we jump forward and back in the sagittal plane. That's why we jump side to side in the frontal plane. And that's why we rotate while we jump in the transverse plane to make sure that we cover all planes of motion with the movement such as jump. We can do the same thing with arm swings. That's why we swing our arms in the sagittal plane. That's why we swing our arms in the frontal plane. And that's why we swing our arms in the transverse plane to make sure we take a swing and make it 3D by doing it in all three planes of motion for a matrix. But what this allows us to do is say, how can we use the matrix strategy to continue to improve upon our coordination? Well, maybe we take the jump matrix and maybe we take that arm swing matrix and put it together in one matrix to continually challenge our bodies. But we're challenging our bodies in a successful manner because we already did the jump, and we already did the arm swings, so I bet we can now put that together and do that particular form of a jumping jack. So thanks to the matrix strategy, our coordination can continually be built upon and improved based on our success as free-to-play athletes. I am proud of you. Free to play is all about perspire, our individual efforts. Free to play is also about inspire, 
encouraging others. One way to encourage others through their efforts is to recognize those efforts and tell them, I am proud of you. Let's learn how to play it forward with sign language by saying, I am proud of you. To say I, point to yourself. To say am, make a fist with your hand, with your thumb on the outside, and that's the letter A. With the letter A, take it from your chin and move your hand forward. To say proud is you're going to make that fist, and I'll allow your thumb to stick out a little bit more, but you're going to take your thumb and run it up your chest, almost like you're zipping up a jacket. To say of, you will make the letter O by making a circle with your hand and then throwing that circle out and then making your three fingers stick up with the still the circle with your thumb and index finger. U is real easy because you're just going to point to who you're proud of. So when we want to honor someone's efforts and encourage them because of those efforts, we together can say, I am proud of you. That's what it means to perspire, but more importantly, that's what it means to inspire. Free-to-play athletes, I know three things. I know how awesome you are, I know how much power you have, and I know you know how to do thousands of jumping jacks. Now, we all kind of, long time ago, learned the one jumping jack, but we go, is that all there is? You as a free-to-play athlete go, no, there's a lot more to it than that. There's a lot more fun to be had. And so what I'd like to do is introduce you to just a few more of the jumping jacks that I already know that you know how to do. So here's how we do this. I'll get the feet started and then we'll do the hands, but I'll tell you what we're going to be doing. So the first one we're going to do is in the sagittal plane, we're going to do our feet out of sync, and then we're going to do our hands in the frontal plane out of sync. So the feet will be in the sagittal plane out of sync, the hands will be in the frontal plane. Here we go. Get the feet going first, got the feet going, and then you just do the hands out of sync. Just, just do a couple of them. Great job. So well, that was pretty, pretty easy, pretty fun. Let's do the same thing with the feet, but let's make our hands go in the transverse plane out of sync. So get the feet going. Here we go. Sagittal plane out of sync feet. Put the hands in front of us. Boom. Open them up, open them up. Almost feels like a really good dance move. It feels like a dance move and put a little music to it. It is a dance move. So wait a minute. We can combine what our feet do with our hands do literally thousands of different ways and make all kinds of jumping jacks. Yeah, that's what's so fun about this. Here's a tough one. We're going to do frontal plane feet in sync. So our feet are going to go here in sync, but then with our hands, we're going to do sagittal plane in sync. So our hands are going to stay together and our feet are going to stay together. Let's start our feet. Frontal plane in sync. Great job. Now hands, sagittal plane in sync. Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. The feet want to go this way. The hands want to go this way. And the body says, I can do that. And so the fun part about a jumping jack is our feet are doing something, our hands are doing something, allow us to get a lot more coordinated, a lot more powerful. Now, here's a real good one. We're gonna do our feet in the transverse plane in sync, but then we're gonna do our hands in the transverse plane in sync. And you're gonna really feel the power of what we call the twist. Here we go, get your feet going, here we go. Rotate, rotate, get the hands out here and let them rotate and get it going. You can do this one even faster. Get it going, get it going. You go, whoa. That's going to allow me to do a lot of things better. I really like that one. Let's stay with the same foot pattern, but let's change the hand pattern. So let's go, let's go back to frontal plane, but let's go frontal plane in sync. This is a tough one because my feet are going to say, hey, let's twist, but my hands are going to say, hey, let's go side to side. And the rest of my body says, I can handle that. So here we go. Let's get the feet going in the transverse plane. Great. Put your hands over your head and go side to side as we rotate side to side. Oh, unbelievable job on that one. That was really, really good. Now, here's the fun part. You can make this what we call the jumping jack game. You and any of your teammates can simply say, hey, let's, I'll say the foot pattern. You say the hand pattern and let's see if we can do it together. So let me give an example. Let's do Let's do frontal plane out of sync, kind of that traditional one. But now let's do transverse plane out of sync with that. So you'd go to your teammate, hey, can you do frontal plane out of sync? Yep. Okay, can you put your hands out here and do transverse plane out of sync? I sure can. And you got it going. 
It's that simple. Now, it's simple to you because you've done the work. It's simple to you because you guys have learned the movement literacy of free to play. So I really encourage you to take any of your in sync and out of sync jumps, combine them with any of your arm swings in the sagittal plane, frontal plane, transfers plane, in sync or out of sync, and literally have a party with it. I know you're already thinking this could even be more fun if we went somewhere. We could literally do that and maybe go forward and back and a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. Here's what I know about you. You are awesome. You also have the power to encourage others. Here's what I'd like you to consider doing. Sometime today or tomorrow, when you get home with your mom or your dad or a sibling or anybody who you have the opportunity to live with, say, hey, I want to teach you a thing called the jumping jack matrix. And most of us, if you came home to me and I was your dad, I'd say, well, I know a jumping jack and the only one I would know is this. And you'd say, hey, that's pretty good, dad but I got more. And then what you want to do is you want to teach them basically the jumps first. Teach them in sync, all three planes, out of sync, all three planes, and just tell them great job. And then show them the arm swings. And then say, well, let me show you and make sure you do it along with them. And you get your feet going, you get their hands going. Here's what's going to happen. They are going to giggle. Here's what you get to do. Just keep track of how much they're giggling. That's what it's all about. But here's what I really want you to do. When you finally get done, when they kind of look like they get tired, and I would get tired pretty quick, I want you to look at them and I want you to do this to them. And you know what I just said. What you're going to do, you're going to empower the person that you just taught the jumping jack matrix to by saying to them, I am proud of you. Here's what they're going to say. What was that? And you just simply look at them dead in the eye and say, as a free-to-play athlete, we're learning movement literacy, but more importantly, we're learning how to give back, how to uplift and encourage. And I just want to encourage you today, mom or dad, brother or sister, whoever you're teaching this to, you're going to say, I just told you that I am proud of you. Free-to-play athletes, we truly are proud of you.